Well, now more than ever, it is clear just how critical doctors are in helping us recover and get back on our feet. Wow. CBS 46 anchor Tracy Hutchins has the story now of a Georgia mother singing the praises of a doctor who saved her daughter's life, not once, but twice. Even virtually, this is Augusta Harrell's favorite game. At only one and a half years old, she has already recovered from three surgeries. Augusta was born premature with a common condition of being born early, hydrocephalus, a buildup of fluid in the cavities deep within the brain. It's much like throwing a log across a river. The fluid dams up behind it. And little Augusta needed some help draining that fluid. Dr. Andrew Reisner saved Augusta's life by placing a shunt in her head to redirect the fluid. It has been an emotional roller coaster for Bridget Harrell, knowing that Augusta will have the shunt for the rest of her life. I learned to love this device rather than hate it. For months, I spent so much time hating it. But now, um, I've changed my perspective and understand that it's keeping her alive. And show them how you do peekaboo now. Oh, there we go. Oh my gosh, look at that. <laughs> Those multiple surgeries help form a special bond between little Augusta and her lifesaver, Dr. Reisner. To see a, a, a kid like Augusta thrive and do well, it makes it all so worthwhile and so satisfying. But when you know that someone loves your baby, is taking care of her, it makes a world of difference. That has given Bridget some comfort, but still, she worries about her baby's future. I think she's going to be okay. <laughs> I think she's going to learn to be stronger than me, and um, she's going to be able to deal with this. And so maybe these are all just amazing opportunities for my children to be closer, uh, for my family to be closer. Tracy Hutchins reporting. And you can see little Augusta is doing well, but she's also getting frequent checkups with her doctor. About one in 1,000 babies develops hydrocephalus. That's according to neuroscience researchers. Still ahead.